So don't consider them real football players, but they certainly decide big football games at times. Mark Rogers TV running down the top 10 players at each position in college football. We've made our way all the way to the place kickers. And our standard of criteria here is certainly accuracy, it's distance, and it's also clutch performance. Let's run down the top 10. We start at number one with Cairo Santos of Tulane. First or second team All-America, depending on your service. Cairo Santos hit on 21 consecutive field goals in 2012 without a miss, and he went two of two from 50-plus yards. On the downside, Cairo Santos only contributed to two Tulane victories. The Green Wave won just two games. Cairo Santos, though, not to blame, hitting 21 straight. He's the best coming back to college football in 2013. At number two, we've got Austin Lopez of San Jose State. Lopez also perfect, 17 of 17, but his contributions meant something since uh, San Jose State won 11. They went 11 and 2. This was a football program that won just one game two seasons prior. So Lopez, one of the big reasons why San Jose State turned into a fine football program that won a bowl game and again finished at 11 and 2. He hit all the field goals against Navy in a 12 to nothing San Jose State win. He went 3 of 3 from 40 to 49 yards out, but didn't attempt a field goal of plus 50 yards. But if you look at the 11 San Jose State victories, Lopez didn't really contribute in a tight game as all those victories were pretty easy victories for San Jose State. Okay, at number three, we've got Jeff Budzine of Northwestern. The Wildcats had a great season at 10-3. and three. Budzine went 19 of 20, and his big game came against Michigan State. He hit on three of three field goals, including the game winner to defeat the Spartans 23 to 20. Budzine for Northwestern, again, 19 of 20 in finishing at number three on our list. At number four, we've got Ross Martin for Bull Bound Duke. The Blue Devils making a bowl game for the first time since 1994. Ross Martin, one of the big reasons why, hitting on 20 of 23 field goals, including a long of 57 yards. He went two of two from plus 50 yards and also hit on four consecutive field goals against North Carolina, Duke's biggest win by far of the season, defeating the Tar Heels 33-30. to Ross Martin got the victory for Duke in that football game. At number five, we've got another excellent kicker for a bad football team, Nate Freeze of Boston College, 19 of 20, and he got the game winner against Maryland, 20 to 17. Nate Freeze at number five on our list of top 10 kickers. At number six, we go to Michigan, and Brendan Gibbons, who hit on 16 of 18 field goals, he was two of four from plus 40, so not the big leg in converting long field goals, Brendan Gibbons, but again, 16 of 18. And listen to these clutch kicks. Two seconds left against Northwestern at the Big House. He converted to send that game into overtime, which led to a Michigan victory over the Wildcats and also kicked all the points, including with five seconds left as time expired as Michigan finally defeated Michigan State 12 to 10 for the first time in five years. Brendan Gibbons of Michigan at number six. At number seven, we've got Chandler Catazzaro of Clemson. Catanzaro hit on 18 of 19 field goals for the Tigers as they went on to a Chick-fil-A Bowl victory thanks to Catanzaro, who hit uh, the 37-yard field goal as time expired as Clemson upset LSU at the Chick-fil-A Bowl 25-24. Catanzaro at number 7. At number 8, we've got Chris Boswell of Rice. Boswell hit on 23 of 29 field goals. That's coming off an even better season in 2011 when Boswell hit on 17 of 21 field goals. The stat that really jumped out here in us placing Boswell in the top 10 is that he attempted eight field goals of plus 50 yards for Rice. He hit on six of eight, 75% from plus 50. Then at number nine, we've got Trevor Romaine of Oregon State. He was key in the Beavers surprising the Pac-12 with a 9-3 and three record, 16 of 18 field goals, five of six from plus 40 yards, and he was also huge in uh, bringing forth the deciding points against Wisconsin in an upset early in the season and also a 38-35 win over Arizona. Key field goals by Trevor Robain in leading Oregon State or helping Oregon State to nine wins in 2012. Then at number 10, we've got Toledo's Jeremiah Detmer, who hit on 24-29 field goals, including six of seven from plus 40. He did miss his one attempt from plus 50. Jeremiah Detmer of Toledo is our... 10th best kicker in college football after going 
seven, 17 of 21 back in 2011. Top 10 kickers, there they are from Mark Rogers TV. We would love to hear from you and your thoughts on the best kickers in college football right here on Mark Rogers TV.